Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family, GM Gabuzian is here with you and let's begin with our daily lesson. Today we are going to have another beautiful mating topic which is called Blackburn's mate. We are calling Blackburn mate a situation where we are mating with three minor pieces against opponent's king. So in this position with bishop h7 white is mating. This bishop is taking squares on the dark line. Bishop on h7 is checkmating and the knight is supporting the bishop. Black rook is covering another required square for black king and not allowing to escape. So this is called Blackburn's mate. Let's go ahead and see our examples guys. Here is the original game that earned this pattern its name Blackburn. So it's black to move and you can pause the video guys and try to play as a Blackburn. Now. Black is beginning with knight g4, threatening checkmate on h2 square. So white has to play h3. We are taking bishop takes f2. If white is deciding to take, we just take and we are checkmating from the first rank with queen f1. So white can't be taking. And after bishop f2, white has to go king to h1. And here is the punchline of this position. Black goes bishop f5. Sacrificing firstly the rook on a8 square. Since the queen is under attack and no other squares for escaping are available, white has to take. Here it comes now, queen h3 check, pawn takes and bishop e4 checkmate. Now our pieces are playing differently. Bishop is covering square on g1, knight is covering square on h2 and bishop on e4 is just killing white king through this diagonal guys. So because of this game, this mate is having a title of Blackbird's checkmate guys. Let's go ahead to see the next position. In this position, it's white to move. We are having very strong pieces aiming for opponent's king. But right now, the long diagonal is covered with our opponent d4. So it's white to move guys. You can pause the video and think how you can continue this attack. So white is trying to get rid of this pawn on d4, but the thing is white is not taking on c5 since the long diagonal for black will be opened as well. And white is now going with d5, so closing this bishop and opening the bishop on b2. If black is now deciding to take, queen h5 is just winning the game. Queen h7 is a checkmate threat, and once black is taking, we were mating with bishop h7 check. So black was supposed to play differently after d5 not to take. If black was going e5, we had f4 with the same idea after takes to play queen h5. Or otherwise white is going to be playing f5 or in some conditions maybe deciding to take and having a very active game. Also after d5 there was some kind of bishop e5 move. But again we have a very beautiful solution now playing d6. So if bishop takes, we're again playing queen h5. Or if black is going queen to c6, we have bishop e4 move with a tempo, which is winning a piece. So after a queen c8, we can be playing bishop takes b7, queen takes, bishop e5, knight e5. And after a queen e5 and f6, we have queen e4 move. So we're attacking black queen and running away with a tempo. So we're saving our knight and winning the game. Little more complicated variations, but the punchline was beautiful black purse checkmate beginning with queen h5 move in this position. Let's go ahead to see the next one. This is a game with one of our chess mode grandmasters, Samuel Terzahakian by white against a strong grandmaster with 2700 fide rating. It's white to move guys. You can pause the video and try to find the continuation. So white is beginning with knight takes h7. In the game, black realized the strong idea of white and played bishop g7, lost this important pawn and got a very bad position after bishop takes g6. So later on white won the game. But let's see what's happening if after knight takes h7, black is deciding to take the knight. So king takes, knight g5 check. And after king g8, we are going queen h5, the same idea. So after g takes h5, bishop h7 is our favorite checkmate. After queen h5, 
like could have tried knight 5 h6, but white is again winning after queen g6, bishop g7, queen f7, king h8, and rook e4. White is bringing the rook into the game, threatening rook h4 checkmate, and if black is taking with the knight on e4, queen g7 is the checkmate again. So, very beautiful game by our chess mod grandmaster. Let's go ahead to see the next position. In this position, it's white to move, guys. We're having monster pieces aiming for opponent's king. And we need a concrete decision how to win this, guys. So you can pause the video again and try to find it. I'm sure you're already knowing that white is beginning with rook h7 move, bringing opponent king to this position on h7 and having knight g5 check. Now, if black is deciding to take, we are mating with queen h5 check, since there is a pin, black can't be taking. So black has to go king g8, queen g6 check, which is a checkmate. After knight g5 check, if black is going king to h6, white is winning with queen e4. Now, there are two checkmates hanging on g6 and on h4. And if black is taking with the king, this king will be checkmated in a few moves. Queen g6 check. King h4, queen h6, king g4, bishop e2, king f5, g4 check, and after king e4, queen e3 is a beautiful checkmate in the center. So, for this reason, after knight g5 check, black has to go king to g8. And here it comes, our favorite queen h5. Now, if black is taking, we have bishop h7 checkmate. Or if after a queen h5, black goes some move, let's say rook f6, we are playing queen h7 check, king f8, and queen hj checkmate. Very strong and beautiful attack by white. Punchline of which was the black burns checkmate. Let's go ahead to see the next position. Here it's white to move again. We are having very strong bishops in the center and knight nearby to black king. I'm sure guys you're already guessing what's gonna be happening in a very near future. Just in case we'll ask you to pause the video and think about it. So white is beginning with bishop takes g6. If now black is taking this bishop, white goes queen b1. It's a double attack. We're attacking the rook on a2 and pawn on g6. If black now plays rook takes b2, we're mating with queen g6 check, king h8. Queen h7 check. Otherwise, after queen b1 move, white is winning an exchange and getting a winning position. So, after bishop g6 move at the beginning, let's see what's happening if black is taking with rook on b2. Now white is going queen to h5. As you know, knight h5 is followed by bishop h7 checkmate. After queen h5, if black is taking with the pawn on g6, we are checkmating again with queen g6 and queen h7, as you saw previously. And if now black is playing e5, trying to cover these bishop options, we are playing bishop e5. No other moves are left, so black can be trying something like rook takes f2, but we are just ignoring it and playing queen h7 check, knight takes h7, and bishop h7 checkmate. This was the last position with Blackburn checkmate, guys, which I was going to show you. The next one will be your homework. It's white to move, and as I mentioned, this is your test. You can be sharing your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. Jem Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes, and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.